when it comes to getting a new telescope, what to buy and where to buy it from is gonna take up the bulk of your time and research when all you want to do is get that new telescope out under the night sky to begin exploring the incredible objects that are out there. I'm Michael Martin and welcome to Late Night Astronomy, your guide to help you explore the heavens above. Recently, High Point Scientific reached out to me and offered to send over their Aperture at AD6 for me to review and share my thoughts with you all. I'm pleased to report after weeks of using this telescope that it may be one of the best bang for your bucks currently out there, particularly for those of you who are new to this hobby and are looking to buy your first telescope. Out of all the telescopes that I've owned and used over the years, the type of telescope that I still recommend for most people is a Dobsonian telescope. The beauty of this design by John Dobson is how it takes the light gathering power of a reflector and puts it on a sturdy and simple to use base for smooth and steady viewing. Out of everything to consider when looking at a Dobsonian telescope, the size of the mirror and the weight of the telescope should probably be near the top of your list. The AD6 houses a six inch primary mirror which begins to open up the night sky to some incredible deep sky objects. The 152 millimeter diameter and 1200 millimeter focal length gives a focal ratio of f7.9. The aperture at AD6 hits the sweet spot for me in terms of mirror size and price for a high quality telescope. Simply put, don't get aperture fever, particularly if this is your first telescope. Stick with a six to eight inch mirror. That'll help you to save money to later spend on other eyepieces and accessories. And it'll also lead to a telescope that weighs less and is easier to move around, making you more likely to use it on a nightly basis. Everything from star clusters to nebulas and galaxies on the Messier list can be viewed through this telescope if your light pollution allows it. In terms of build quality, High Point Scientific includes a sturdy particle board base that's on a very nice and smooth ball and roller bearing system, leading to easy maneuvering of this telescope, which is particularly important if you're using high magnifications on targets like Jupiter and Saturn. The two inch Crafer style focuser comes with an inch and a quarter brass ring adapter. And most impressively, it has a 10 to one fine tune focuser built into it. This is a rare thing to find for a six inch telescope in this price range. And I've owned eight and 12 inch telescopes from other companies that are very nice telescopes, but did not come with a focuser of this high quality that you're getting with a six inch Dobsonian in this price range. It's a really impressive feature to find on it. The six by 30 right angle correct image finder scope will allow you to star hop from one star to another while attempting to manually hunt down deep sky objects. High Point Scientific also includes 25 and nine millimeter plossal eyepieces. They'll give you around 48 times and 133 times magnifications, which is a good starting point for low and medium magnification views through a telescope of this size. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description of this video if you're interested in this or other products from High Point Scientific. And please consider buying through these affiliate links below to help support this channel. But enough about the specifications of this telescope. Let's actually put it to the test by going out under the night sky to hunt down some deep sky objects and my two favorite planets that are out right now, Jupiter and Saturn. I'm outside right now on a beautifully clear night with just a slight breeze, but conditions are excellent to test out the Aperture AD6 on some of my favorite targets that are out right now. We're gonna begin with the Andromeda Galaxy, which is 2.5 million light years away. So let's start by finding the constellation Andromeda, which is right about there. And then let's switch to the six by 30 finder scope and do some star hopping to get to that target. All right, I can make out a blur of a target that's probably gonna be the Andromeda Galaxy. So let's switch over to the 25 millimeter eyepiece. That's gonna give us around 48 times magnification 
uh, which is a good starting point to find your objects and do a lot of your observations as well. Let's see what we have. We've got the dense central core of the Andromeda galaxy. And I believe I can even make out one of the satellite galaxies that are right near it as well. Yep. That's beautiful. I am loving this 10 to 1 fine-tuned focuser. I'd mentioned it earlier in the video, and it is very nice to use. All right. Let's move from Andromeda on to two of the most impressive planets that are thankfully out right now as well, Saturn and Jupiter. Those are gonna be in another part of the sky. So let's move over this way. Saturn is just to the left of the tree in my backyard. And let's take a look. And there is Saturn with, I think, two moons with it. I don't know if one of them's Titan, but that's definitely either a random close star to it or two of its moons that we can see through this. That's very nice. I'm gonna switch over to the nine millimeter eyepiece that uh, came with this telescope because uh, that's really what you're gonna wanna use for an object like uh, the planets right here. So let's switch over to that. And we're going to be going here from about 48 times magnification to around 130 times. Rings are beautiful right now. Let's move from Saturn now to Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter is going to be more in this portion of the sky right here at a very good height though we should have a pretty nice view of this it's a good bit higher than uh saturn was yep there it is now as as beautiful as saturn is with its rings jupiter is really my favorite planet You've got the cloud belts that are changing, the great red spot, which I, I don't see tonight. I don't think we have the great red spot tonight. But those, those four moons, two of them pretty close together, that's a very impressive surface detail coming through. That's a great view. Very sharp optics, nice clean image. Nothing better than Jupiter and Saturn. This is, this is great. Even though it's not out tonight, I was able to take this telescope to an outreach event at a high school in my area, and everyone loved using it to view the surface of the moon. For many of them, it was the first time they had ever used a telescope, with the students and parents easily moving it around to view the moon, with some of them even holding up their phone to take pictures of it. Over the years, I've bought many different products from High Point Scientific, and have consistently had an excellent experience with them as a customer. The Apertura 86 is one of the best deals out there for a beginner who's serious about getting into this hobby. And I really appreciate them sending it over for me to share my thoughts with you all. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to this channel to join our growing community. But most importantly, let us know what questions you have about this or any other telescope in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.